teaching in uh, Tallinn University, and uh, the curriculum where I'm teaching is called uh, Educational Technology. So this is for teachers who are working already uh, at different schools on different levels. And uh, there is uh, one subject that is called Innovation Technology. I'm, I'm teaching this subject to them, and uh, I found that it fit nicely to the things that we are doing here in, in ITEC. I began with, uh, I think, uh, like two years ago, more or less, uh, doing training for uh, Spanish teachers that are involved in the ITEC project. And now I am uh, doing uh, the last uh, pilots of the, of the project. I am uh, using this for my classes. I teach uh, to future kindergarten and primary teachers. And I uh, teach them how to make an a educational scenario, an innovative scenario, as we do in, in ITEC. So for me, it's very useful this because uh, uh, my student will learn and I hope they apply this in their future classroom. During this year, we were using EduVista toolkit um, and I asked them to uh, evaluate some schools and uh, design uh, innovative learning scenarios and even to pilot them and then later evaluate them. It's really meaningful. and. Uh, and provides a lot of ideas what to do differently on, on the school level. For example, uh, starting from um, um, evaluating the, the maturity level of innovation. It's, uh, it's a really nice tool, not only for teachers, but maybe even for uh, directors, school leaders, to uh, evaluate what is the level of maturity on the, on the class level or on the course level or on the school level. The next tool, the um, estimating trends and uh, evaluating them. It's, it's really meaningful to find out what are those uh, possibilities, what we can do differently to, to put them on work, on our use, and uh, what are the threats, uh, what we should do to avoid them. So it's, it's really um, good uh, inspiration for, for teachers. I think if, if you want to, to put a technology or a pedagogy into classroom, uh, one of the best things is the thing that I am doing, that is training future teachers, because uh, this, this, uh, my, my students, that they are no, now more or less 18, 19, 20 years, uh, in four years they are going to be working. And if they have uh, learned all of this in the in their grade and, and and career, they are going to use in the in the classroom. So they are not going to be to need any training about this because they they will know to to do it. In the end of the course, uh, when I, I saw how enthusiastic they are, so it, it was like a instant and positive feedback to me that I understood that this is the right thing to do, and I will continue this uh, also next years. Um, and uh, I was. Uh, quite surprised that uh, they, they found time and, and uh, courage to execute those uh, innovative scenarios in, in real life. So they were real uh, study projects, uh, not only something on paper. They presented evidences that uh, they involved uh, kids and uh, they collected some feedback and some numbers. And um, So I hope that uh, they are running the, the similar um, approaches also next year. My workshop is about augmented reality and the use of this technology in the art class. We're going to make a living art a painting with classic painting. They a, make a research about one famous painter painter, or a, and they choose a painting and they make a video of this a, taking live the characters of the of the painting. So they work with, with technology, they work with art, and they work with, uh, with this, this kind of project and, and research. So this is very innovative and mix uh, collaboration with research and also uh, everything about art. I just uh, encourage uh, teachers or, or uh, visitors uh, to uh, implement this uh, EduVista toolset because I think it's, it's a really, really nice um, framework uh, if, if you are really interested in doing something differently on school level, if you are interested in innovation in, in teaching, uh, then this is uh, one very nice and, and mature tool what to, what to use.